all right guys so here i'm again with another excited designing tutorial using bootstrap so i've created this website using bootstrap and it is so amazing so let's see how our website is looking the very first thing you guys see here is the navbar which is so simple to create using bootstrap so this navbar also has some magic in and I will show you in a minute. And after this one, we have our banner section that I put some animation on. Let me refresh my web page to see the animation. So I'm just gonna refresh it and you will see that and it nicely come from the left side. So I'm gonna keep on scrolling and scroll my web page and notice, take a look and I mean, put your, put your focus on the nav bar. So if I just scroll this down and here you will see that we have nothing, but whenever we reach to this point, everything suddenly gets visible and this just highlighted and automatically and we didn't put the focus here and just do, did it automatically so after this section i also mentioned that i've got these images from a website called many pixels and you can have access to these types of images from there and others of the images that i've got is from a website like Splash and also pixels and stuff so and after that if we have our services section and see how nicely it's looking it's looked like a steps here we have this big picture uh, a small picture here the bigger and the base and after that we have these contents here and, and normally i've used uh cards here so a bootstrap cart and after that we have our purple use section and i put some hover effect on these if i just move my cursor on you'll see that nicely our uh, image change to a darker one and the button come from the top and you will see that how nice it just come and after that my favorite section is the client section and look at this image how it gets visible and uh, put everything on it and after that here I've used something called accordion and it's really amazing so let me just click on and you will see that it just gets uh, like this and I really love it so after this section we have our team section that I've used our uh, cards also here and I, at the end we have our contact task section and the footer section and I also mentioned at the first of the tutorial that this website is completely responsive and you don't have to worry about the user uh, about uh, where the user is gonna open this website so let me decrease the size of it and you will see that it's still uh, things are organized here and you don't have to worry about anything and this now for a change to a hamburger which is really looking awesome so let's create something like this but before doing that if you're uh, appreciating what I've done here just give me a thumbs up and if it's possible um, hit that subscribe button and that really helps me and also makes me happy. So uh, let's go in our code editor. The code editor that I'm using in this tutorial is Visual Studio Code, which is an amazing uh, code editor. And after that, I've already created a folder here called Responsive Website Using Bootstrap. And in this folder, I've also created another folder which calls Images. And inside this, uh, there, there are the images that I've used in this project. So what we are going to do is to create our very first index.html file. So inside the index.html, and I'm just gonna type HTML and this is going to generate this full probe for us. And here I just type responsive website. Let me capitalize this, mm, website. So because we are using Bootstrap, we have to set it up. To do so, I'm gonna go inside the Bootstrap a website and from there, I'm gonna go inside the introduction. And inside the introduction, we have to copy its CSS and, HT, uh, and JavaScript code. So I'm just gonna grab it from here and I'm gonna go and paste it before or after the title. And after this, we also have to grab its uh, JavaScript. So I just copy it from here and I'm gonna go before the body and paste it down here. So now we completely set up our bootstrap and how easy it is. So after that here, what I'm gonna do is to create our nav bar. Before creating the nav bar uh, here, I just uh, put a comment and say header, header uh, section start and header section end and, and between these i'm going to create our header 
So I say header and inside this, I'm gonna put another comment and say um, uh, nav bar section start and nav bar section ends. And between these, I'm gonna create our nav bar. To do so, I'm gonna go and copy it from the Bootstrap website. So inside the components, here we have the components and inside the components, we have something called nav bar. Here is it, it is. So inside the nav bar, the nav bar that I've used and mostly used in my tutorial is this one. So I'm just gonna grab its codes from here, just click on copy, and I'm gonna go inside my code editor and paste it down here. Now I'm gonna save it and open it up in the browser. To open it up easily in the browser and you, you, you don't want to refresh your website or I mean your browser all the time to get the changes, you have to install a package called live server here. It's really make for life easier. So I'm gonna right click on my HTML file and here it gives me an option which is open live server. So I'm just gonna click on and then it's going to open up our website, I mean our project on the website live. So you will see that it just open it up in a minute because I have a few low connection. It just takes a few times. So let me check. Yes, I've copied it's a code properly. And you'll see that our nav bar is looking like this. And it's still, we don't write any code, but it, it take, takes care of its being responsive. And it changed to a hamburger menu. So it needs a lot of customization. So to do it here, the very first thing I'm gonna do is to set its BG to dark. And also it's, uh, uh, we're gonna get rid of the container fluid and then replace of the nav where I'm gonna put the jeweler. So I say jeweler. And after that here, we have a home section. I don't want this active states here. And after that here, we need to change uh, to the elements that I want. So uh, here I'm gonna change this one to the features to about. So I just say uh, about and it's already gonna refer to about too. Then after about we have, uh, actually this is about as, let me put it the way that it is in our website. And after that we have services. Then here it also refer to services section. And I'm, I don't need this disabled. So I'm just gonna uh, cut this out and copy here. Uh, this element, this nav item from here and paste it down here and change the services to something like a portfolio. So I say portfolio and here I'm also gonna refer to portfolio. So I just say portfolio and after that, I'm gonna paste it down one more time and then we have our client section. So I just say client elements, so I just say client and as ID also gonna refer to client, not in capital letter. And at the end, we have a team and contact us. So here I'm gonna just change it to team. And this one also gonna be team. And let me capitalize this one. And after that here we have contact. And here it also gonna refer to contact. Let me see how is it looking. It's looking like this. And we need to move these things to the right side. To do so, I'm gonna go inside the collapse and where is the collapse, here we have it. And just put justify uh, content to the end. Now it just takes it, to the, uh, takes it to the right side. Now I'm gonna change the color of this, uh, this to white color. To do so, uh, we have to go in our brand and just set its uh, text to light. So now it's color also changed to the light one and we will change this now for using our custom CSS file. So let me see, it changed to white color but we need to change these two. So I'm gonna go inside uh, here, I'm gonna open up the Rayboon here, here it's called Rayboons and create our custom CSS file. So I say style.css and we need, we need to make sure that our CSS file is connected with our HTML and make sure that you put it after the bootstrap link. So I just say link and say style.css and I'm gonna go inside our CSS file and the very first thing in CSS I'm gonna do is to set a phone family for it. So I say phone family and there's a phone family that I love which is cursive and you will see that our font changed to this one and don't worry about this. It just makes it fine when the bootstrap link, I mean bootstrap load. Then I'm gonna select the body 
and set the overflow of everything from the x direction to heading and nothing gonna be visible if just uh, overflowed from the x direction of our website so after this section i'm going to select the, the navbar brand so i just say navbar brand and set its font size to something like 2 rem and it just makes it a little bigger and after that i'm going to select our nav link so i just say nav and link and here what i'm going to do is to give it a font size of what font size i'm going to give it is 1.2 rim and we also need to change its color to the white color so to do it i'm just going to say color and it's going to be light gray so now you will notice that it didn't change because we have to put the important here so i just say important and now you will see that this color changed to the light gray so awesome We've done with the title and we, we will make the center line and the other stuff using JavaScript. So after that, we have to create our hero section. So I'm gonna go inside the index.html file and beneath our, what I called, uh, beneath our uh, navbar section and out of the header section, I'm gonna put a comment and say hero, uh, before doing hero, so I'm just, gonna uh, put a comment and say main section start and also main section ends and between these we're gonna create our hero so uh, <clears throat> I just come and uh, uh, say main and inside this I'm gonna put another comment and say hero section start hero a section start and hero section end and between these we're gonna create our hero so the hero section so i just say section and i'm gonna give it a class of hero and also the class name of i mean one more class which is margin from the top and bottom of five and after that what i'm gonna do is also yes so here i'm gonna create our container as usual and inside the container i'm gonna put an each one and this each one gonna just contain uh, this value so i'm just gonna grab it from here to make it easy and after that we have a p tag so put a p tag here and grab this from here this is just a low room so you can also create it using uh visual studio and at the end and we have this button so i just say button and i'm gonna give it a custom class which is joy btn and now it's looking like this and inside its inner html i'm just gonna put learn more so after that we have to customize this to do so i'm just gonna come inside our style.css file and uh, select the hero section and here i'm gonna give it a background which uh, our background lives inside the images folder and its name is hero image then i'm gonna uh, set its background uh, position to center so i say background position to center and also background size to uh, cover uh, then it will look something like this we need to increase its size and um, i gave it a little margin because i set the position of the navbar to fix so i'm gonna go inside the navbar and say uh, top to fix it i don't know if it's fixed to the top or top fix it so let me see refresh it and we have still the margin it is fixed top so i say fixed top and now you'll see that it just goes under this so after that i'm gonna come inside our uh, hero section and here what i'm gonna do is to give it a width of a hundred percentage and a height of 40 rem then you'll see that it's looking like Come on baby it's looking like this and we need to fix the content uh the content of hero so to do it i'm gonna use flex box here so i just say display uh to flex also justify uh content to a uh, center and then align items to the center so 
now it just gets at the center of our web page and I want to say, set the text to align to the center too so I just say text align to the center it just makes everything to come at the center and I'm gonna give it a color of white so everything gonna looks in white color and after that I'm gonna select this each one itself so I just say hero from the hero select the each one and give it a font size of 3 rim and after that I'm gonna select our p tag so I say hero dot p tag I mean uh, from hero select the p tag and also got, give it a font size of 1.1 rim now you'll see that our h1 and also our each one and also the p tag is looking like this so after that uh, i have to style this pattern so to do it um i'm gonna go uh, here and here i'm gonna select the joy btn so i just say joy btn and here i'm gonna give it a color of blue and it is important else it's not going to work for us then i'm gonna give it a border and it is one pixel so light and blue and also important so i just say important and after that i'm gonna give it the background of transparent so i just say transparent then i'm gonna give it a little padding uh, it's going to be 0 0.5 rim from the top and bottom and 2 rim from the side then it's a font weight uh, going to be font weight going to be bold bolder actually and the font size going to be 18 pixels so i just say 18 pixel and now you'll see that our button looks like this so now we've done with the i mean the banner section and after that we have to style our about section to do so when i go inside the index.html file and beneath all of these and before the main section i'm gonna put our comments so i just say about section start and about section ends and within this we're gonna create the section of about with a class of about and margin from the top uh, margin from the top and bottom of four and padding from the top and bottom of five then i'm also gonna give it an id which we want to whenever we click on these uh, section i mean these tabs it just takes us to different sections for example when i click on portfolio on client and services it just takes us to different sections so uh, here inside the id and uh, using the id we do that so here inside the section as usual create our container and after that i'm gonna put an h1 here with a class of text to the center so i say class text to the center it just makes the text uh, come at the center of our web page and here inside its inner html what i'm gonna do is to put about us not us so now I'm, I'm gonna go here and you will see that it's looking like this and after that after this each one what i'm gonna do is to create uh, a row so i just say row and justify uh, content to center so i just say justify content to the center to put everything at the center also align item to the center so i say align items to the center and uh, uh, justify content center put everything to the center uh, vertically and align items to the center put everything uh, i mean and column to the center so inside this uh, row what i'm gonna do is to create our column so as usual i'm gonna type call and in large size it's just gonna take five columns of our website so inside this i'm gonna create our um, i'm gonna put our each one and uh, i'm gonna grab the each one from the main project the project that i've created before so i'm just gonna grab it from here and paste it inside our each one and after this each one we have some p tag so i'm going to grab it from here and create a p tag here and i say just paste it down and we need one more p tag so just create it out here and copy this out from here and uh, paste it down here then we have a ul there so i just say ul and i say the, the ul uh, uh, normally we have our ally so i'm just going to uh, generate some lorem with four words here and duplicate it for a couple of times so 
now you'll see that it is looking like this and it is at the center because we didn't create the others column i mean other column and at the end let me check what do we have else we have also a button so i just come here and out of this ul i'm going to create our button with a class of joy btn that we have created before and i just pass learn a more so now we've done with this section and we need to put this image too so to do it out of the column i'm, uh, I'm gonna put my cursor here to just see where this div ends so out of this div i'm gonna create our another column so i just say call uh, colon which is stand for colon and large size is just going to take four columns of our web page and inside this i'm going to create a div with a class of image wrapper and then inside this i'm just going to put an image with which it's it is inside the images and its name is about dot svg and then for the most of your uh your images you have to put this class with the class width of a hundred and just organize it well so i'm gonna go inside the responsive website and let's see what do we have here so here we have our about section which nicely oriented here and i don't have to even write a custom css file it it is really looking awesome really satisfied me so after this section we have to create let me check what else we have here so i'm just gonna scroll to the down we have our services section so inside the index.html file after the um about section i'm just gonna come and put another comment here and say uh, services section start before I was spelling, I mean, uh, um, let me, whatever. Uh, I was uh, just pronounced like services, but saying services is easier. So I just select to, I mean, choose to uh, pronounce it like services. So inside this, as usual, we have to create our section and gonna have the class of services. So uh, services and after that I'm gonna set its background color to a light color and then I'm gonna give it an ID so I just say services so when the user click on this section it just takes us to the services section so after that as usual create our container so inside this container what I'm gonna do is to create an each one and put the class of text to the center so I just say text to the center and then uh, I'm gonna put services here inside its inner HTML after this each one um, I'm gonna put an p tag here and also give it the class of text to the center and I said this just generate some low rem epsilon with a 10 or 14 characters here so now if you take a look you will see that it is if it's load faster uh, come on baby yes here we have our services section with this text here so after this p tag what I'm gonna do is to um um uh we we're gonna create a, a row here so i just say row and this row uh gonna have no class uh, without that row and inside the row we're gonna create our column so i'm gonna say call in large size it's just gonna take four columns so inside this we need to create cards so which cards have used here so let me check which cards i've used i'm gonna scroll to the down uh, I noticed which card I've used. So I'm going to go inside the Bootstrap website and inside the components, we have something card here. So I'm going to search, I'm going to enter inside the card and after it loads, we have to search for the card that I'm using, a uh, used here. This is the card that I've used here. So I'm just going to grab its code from here and paste it down here. So the very first thing in this card I'm going to do is to get right of this with a 218 and inside its card uh, i'm not gonna go and give it any classes uh, but inside the images i'm gonna get rid of this um what i called uh, class of card to the top so i get rid of this one 
and product class of width to 100 and inside it's SRC, I mean source, we're just gonna say images and the image name is services, service actually, not services, one.jpg. Then after that one, we have this card body section, which I'm just gonna put another class here, say text to the center to put everything, to align everything to the center. And uh, here inside this, I'm gonna put my each one. And here I'm just gonna say responsive website. Our services, one of them is to create a responsive website. So after that, what do we have else? We have um, nothing else. So I'm gonna just save it out and go to in a browser. Uh, I mean, go in a browser and you will see that it is looking like this one but we have these text here but i'm gonna generate this that too so after that i'm gonna duplicate this card here so here uh, we have this card but before this card we have our column so i'm just gonna grab it from here copy this out from here i used to put a comment here but i'm not gonna do it uh, because it just takes time so i'm gonna put it one more time and twice so after that here we need to change it the way in these are so uh, the last one here, its name is web development. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab it from here and here replace of this one, I'm gonna put that one. And after that, we also have to change its image with it, its name is a services that it lives here. So after this, uh, I'm gonna go to the top and uh, here I'm gonna change its uh, image name to this uh, second, I mean two and I'm gonna grab its title from here. Grab it, and where is it? Here, I'm gonna paste it down. Yes, now we're done, and I'm gonna go inside responsive website, and you'll see that it is looking the way that we want. And I'm gonna fill the, the gap using, using some dummy uh, text here. So you could put uh, meaningful images here, uh, I mean, meaningful text here, but I just uh, put something to fill this up. So in the first one, uh, where is it? Yes, here we have it. After, uh, inside this column, but after this card, so I just come here and put a P tag and generate some low rim here. So I just say low rim. And uh, what happened? Low rim. Low. <laughs> It is with E, not A. So inside this, I just generate one low rim and also another. So I just say low rim. And you will see that it just fill the gap here. So come on, baby. Yes, here we have it. And I'm just gonna put one low rim in under this uh, card. So, and a card to, I just come here and uh, here we have the card. And after the card, here it closed, I guess so. Yes, it does. So here I just put a P tag and generate some low rim. So now we're also successfully done with our services section. But you notice that it don't highlight, I'm gonna do it using JavaScript, don't worry guys. So after this a services section, um, does it need any, let me check if I put any, um, I didn't put anything else. So. Let me check it out here too. So we have nothing else, but I got this uh, paragraph a little padding, but I'm not gonna do it in this. So it just looks amazing. And after that, after the services section, we have to create our portfolio section. So I'm gonna go inside our code editor and here come uh, at the bottom of our codes and uh, Um, here before the main section, I mean, uh, yes, before the main section and after the services section, and I put a comment and say portfolio, uh, portfolio section start and portfolio section ends. And between, the, between these comments, I mean, cr uh, I, I want to create my sections. I just say section and I give it class of portfolio and uh, margin from the top and bottom of five. 
and I give it an ID. So I just put a hashtag here and say portfolio. And inside this, as usual, create a container. So I just say container. And inside this container, what I'm going to do is to create an each one and put its class, uh, I mean class uh, to text to the center. So I just say text center. And do I put any any other class? No, I didn't. So inside that scenery HTML, I just say portfolio. And after this one, we have uh, nothing else. I didn't put any uh, p tag there, but if you want, you could do so. Uh, so after this, I create a row. So I just say row and justify uh, content to the center. Also align uh, items to the center. So inside this, what I'm going to do is to create a column. So I just say call, let me put a dot here, call. And in large size, it's just going to take four, uh, three columns of our website. So inside this, I'm going to put a div here and say uh, image wrapper. So I just say image wrapper. This is going to wrap our image. Let me show you how our portfolio is looking. It's looking, we only have two images here. So uh, I just say image wrapper and also text to the center to put everything at the center. And inside this, um, I'm going to create our actual image. So I just say image and it's SRC going to refer to images. And the image that I've used here is name is, its name is portfolio1.jpg. And after that, we have to put the class of width to 100. So I just say width 100. And, uh, and after that, I'm going to put a button here. So I just say, I'm going to put this button inside the div. So I say div. And then we have our button. So I just say button. And inside this button, I'm going to give it our custom class, which is joy VTN. And inside its inner HTML, I'm just going to pass learn more. Now I'm going to save it and take a look in a browser. How is it looking? Uh, I'm going to scroll to the down and our image is looking like this. We will fix this button here. Don't worry about. So we need to duplicate this for a couple of times. So I just came here and copy this out from here. It's a good practice to put a comment below this but I'm not going to do that because it just takes my time so fast. So here I'm just going to change its name to, I mean, the image to two, I mean, three, not two. And this one going to be two. And now if I save it, you will see that our images uh, looks like this, but it isn't at the center. I mean, uh, I may miss made a mistake here. So um, here in the portfolio, I say justify, let me check it, yes, I should not put that like that. So yes, it gets exactly at the center. And now I'm going to put this hover effect that we've uh, uh, we done with our main project. So I'm going to go inside our style.css file and here I'm going to grab or select the portfolio, uh, portfolio and uh, from the portfolio, select the image wrapper. So I just say image wrapper and I'm going to set its position to relative. Relative. I don't know if there was in the position relative and absolute how I organize things. So um, I, I set its position to relative because we want to set the button position to absolute. So after that, and the overflow from this uh, going to be hidden. So I just say overflow heading and then I'm gonna sell I'm gonna select the portfolio again so I just say portfolio and from the portfolio select the image wrapper and there we have a div if you notice that that uh, uh, div wrap our button so here what I'm gonna do is the very first thing we're gonna do is to set its position to absolute so I just say absolute and from the top I'm gonna set it to uh, <clears throat> Uh, 50 percentage and from the bottom also uh, not from the bottom from the left gonna be 15 percentage and now let's see how is it looking I'm gonna go here and 
uh, here, you will see that it is here because I didn't get right of its uh, transform translate. So I just came here and say transform. Uh, trans I, I say transform, but I type transform. Transform translate uh, from the X sides. I mean, uh, not X sides, both of them from the X sides gonna be 15 percentage, uh, actually minus 50 percentage, and from the Y direction also gonna be uh, minus 50 percentage. 50 percentage. Now you will see that it just exactly gets at the center. If it's load, yes, it is at the center. So we want this button to come. Uh, from the top and to do it. I'm gonna put a hover effect on before doing that I'm gonna set its a top to something like minus 40 To just get at the top and now you'll see that it isn't here because we said the it's overflow to hide in the image wrapper So after that I just come here and say portfolio from the portfolio select the image wrapper and whenever we hover on we want that the gates was able so to do it I'm just gonna set its top to 50 percentage and also I'm gonna give it a little transition because it just makes it looks a little better so I just say transition 0 0.5 second and it's just gonna occur and uh, the animation gonna occur in 0 0.5 seconds. So, uh, did I save it? Yes, I did. So now if I move my cursor on, you will see that the button just gets here. And we also want the picture to get a little darker. To do so, I just came here and grab this from here, copy and paste it down here and replace off selecting the image and the diff, I'm gonna select the image. So we want to, whenever we hover on image wrapper, what we want to occur on the image. So uh, we want to uh, filter this out. So I just say, uh, I just say filter and uh, we want to have access to the brightness and I'm gonna set its brightness to the tint. Uh, tint, I mean, not tint. And here I'm gonna give it a little transition. So it's just say transition and it's transition gonna be, it gonna uh, target the filter and takes one second. So now after it loads completely, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna move my cursor on and you will see that it just nicely, the button came nicely from the top and the image changed to a darker image. Awesome, 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 really awesome. So after that, we have our client section and I love this section. So um, to create this, I'm gonna go inside our index.html file and beneath all of the codes before the main section, but after the portfolio section, I'm gonna put a uh, comment here and say, well, client, was it client? Yes, client section start and also client section ends. And within these comments, as usual, we have to it's create we have to create a section. So I just say section, and I'm gonna have the class of uh, client. So I just say client. I type it out, but <laughs> delete it to type class. So also give it an ID, and its ID is also client. So I put, why I put this here? Because if I just click on about, it just takes us to about section. If I click on services portfolio, it just takes us to this section. And if I click on client, it just takes us to client. So uh, I just come here and as usual create uh, the container here. So I just say container. And um, actually, I didn't put any to container for this, but it's okay if you even put that, but I'm not gonna put it because I don't want to face something that I haven't faced in my it's a, a, a project that I've created before. So. Uh, here I'm gonna put an each one and here I'm gonna give it a class of text to the center and uh, uh, After that here inside it's in HTML. We're just gonna say clients and After this each one what I'm gonna do is to create a row. So I just say row not or and inside this row as a usual um, Not usual. I'm not gonna create any colon here we have to use Cordian here. So I don't know where Cordian is in Bootstrap website. So I just search it here. So I just say core, um, accordion, not Cordian, accordion. So 
we should be wait for and here we have the accordion no dearest cards <laughs> so accordion mm -hmm. I'm gonna select on click on and yes we have the accordion here so I'm gonna scroll down and the accordion that I've used here is this one so I'm just gonna grab it from here and paste it down inside this row yes and uh, after this we need to change this to the client that we want the first one gonna be Android so I just say Android Droid and the other one let me check what is that one is the first one was actually Google so it's okay so I'm gonna put for the second one here Google Google and the last one gonna be <coughs> iOS so I just uh, come here and put iOS now I'm gonna save it and I already saved that I'm gonna go inside our responsive website and let's see how is it looking we have it like this and it's perfectly fine it's working the way that we want but we lost something here what we lost here is that I didn't put any image after that I love really love this image here how nicely it's moved just you see yes so we're gonna go inside our custom CSS file so what I'm gonna do here is to select the client so I just say client and here I'm gonna give it a little padding of 30 pixels from all the sides then I'm gonna give it a background image so I just say background and it is an image so I just say URL inside the images folder we have client.jpg then I wanna position everything to the center I mean position um, image to the center so I just say background uh, position to the center also background uh, size to cover did you notice that it is too hard to talk and also type <laughs> And after that, I'm gonna give it a background attachment. That just makes, uh, uh, make this to get at the background and it's gonna be fixed. So even do we scroll, it's not gonna move up with our score. So after that, I'm gonna give it a width of 100 percentage, even though we don't, uh, even you don't give it, it's fine, but I just still do. And I'm gonna give it a little height. So it's gonna be height of 40 red. Now let's see. Uh -huh. After it completely loads, yes, we have successfully our image here, which is really looking awesome. And I really love it. So after the client section, we successfully done with our client section. Now I'm gonna go here and see what else do we have here. So after the client section, we have the our team section, which is so simple. We're gonna create it together. So I'm gonna go inside our index.html file and at the end of all these codes before the main section, after the client section, uh, I'm gonna create our section, our, I mean, our team section and start our team section start and our team section ends and inside this as usual create the section with a class of uh, our team so I just say our team and uh, also other class that I gave it is margin from the top and bottom of five and then I got it an ID which its ID is just team so inside this team create the container and after this container I'm gonna put an each one here and uh, give it a class of text to the center so I just say class text uh, to the center then inside its inner HTML I just gonna pass our team so after just each one I'm gonna put an p tag here give it a class of text to the center too and put, uh, generate some low rim with uh, maybe 15 characters here so I mean 15 words here so after this section we need to create our cards here so to create cards I'm gonna generate a row here and after the row you have to create a column so I just say column in LG size it's just gonna take four columns of our web page 
So now we need a card here. So I'm going to go inside the components and inside the components uh, there we have something called um, cart. Yes, I'm going to click on the cart. And after that here, the card that I've used here, let me check which card I've used here. Uh, the previous card. So um, what I'm going to do is to just grab it from there. Let me check if there's any difference between these cards and the previous one that I've used in this project. No, there isn't any different. Yes, it's just similar to this one. So I'm just going to go here inside our codes. And where is it? Where was it? Let me check which section was it. It was in services section. So where we have our services here. I get this. Is, yes. So I'm just going to uh, copy this from here. Grab it. Copy. And I'm going to come inside our row. And here we don't need this here. So I'm just going to get rid of this one and paste that one here. So replace of the web development, or we have the name of the persons here. So I don't, I, I'm not good at giving names here. So I'm just gonna put low Leo, Leo, Jane, and it's a uh, image. Not gonna be this one. It's just gonna be other image that the image I've used here. Let me check what I've used here as a team one pick. So I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Let's just say team pick one. And do I need to give it anything else? No, I don't have to. And yes, it's just perfectly fine. How easy was it to create our team section? And we have it like this. And I'm gonna duplicate this out for a couple of times. I mean, twice. So copy one and two and just change its name to, I'm just gonna put my name here, Sajat Nuri, how I love myself, and replace of the pick uh, one, I'm gonna put pick three, and I hope that I get done a girl picture here. So, and after that here, I'm gonna put another name here, for example, Catherine, um, and then work my keyboard, yes. Cat, oh, oh my computer hang, um, Kathleen and uh, Kathleen, something like Joe. I don't know if a uh, last name exists like this one. So I'm just gonna save it out. And yeah, <laughs> my name is on a, name, a girl picture. So I just got graph it from here. I don't like that. So I just graph it from here, cut it, and put the Kathleen here. So cat. <laughs> and Joe. Mm, put down the then money. Where was it? How is it? Yes, here. Replace of this one. I'm gonna put it here. So <laughs> here we have this, and they are similar. I don't know why. Uh, you can fix it out and use different images here. But did you notice? No. My, I, I, this is my problem, uh, my eyes problem. I see this one a few redder than this one, but um, when I get closer to this one, I notice that it isn't different. So after this section, after our team section, let me check what do we have else I guess that we have contact that section. So I'm just gonna go inside of our index.html file and uh, uh, beneath all the codes before the main section and after the our team section I'm gonna put uh, contact section start and contact section ends and between these you know guys what I'm gonna do is to guess just grab this one and put it between those so just I <laughs> wasn't comfortable with two images look beside each others. So, let's see, yes, it's fine. So, this is satisfy me. So after that, uh, we are put here, I'm gonna create our uh, section, which is belonging to contacts. I just say contact, and I'm, I'm gonna give it a margin from the top of five, and also its background gonna be dark, 
and then give it a padding from the top of put a dot here uh, background with uh, a padding from the top of uh, five padding from the top of five and then I'm gonna give it an ID of contact so I just say contact and inside this uh, I'm gonna put our each one before doing that I'm gonna create a container and put an each one here not that one each one and give the class of text to the center uh, class text to the center and inside it's inner HTML I'm just gonna say contact as so and after this each one what I'm gonna do is to create a div with a class of row and justify and just t5 content so I'm gonna get right at this one justify and here I just come and justify content to center also align items to center items to not align content aligned items to center uh, yes so after this inside this row we have to create our column so I just come here and say the call in large size gonna take six columns and after that inside this column what I'm gonna do is to create our form here so I just say form and what a tie did you notice I can't type form and I actually I'm gonna have no action but <clears throat> I'm gonna give it the text to the center so I just say text to the center and also padding from the padding from all the sides of three inside this form we're gonna create our input so I just say input let me show you what I'm doing I'm, I'm trying to create something like this so uh, input and a tag and type gonna be text and I'm gonna give it a placeholder placeholder and its placeholder is name and then I'm gonna give it the class of uh, form control um, control and after that let me save it and check how it's looking mm -hmm. we have this like this so after that I'm gonna duplicate this out one more time not doing that uh, shift alt down and it just uh, generates something like this and uh, similar to this one and here I'm gonna change it to email and change its a placeholder to email too and it's just gonna be a form control then after that one we have the message so I just come beneath all of these and create our text area so I just say text uh, text area area text area <laughs> inside this text area I'm gonna give the class of form control so I just say class uh, form control and I'm gonna give it um, a width of no uh, I mean the placeholder so I just say placeholder and it's placeholder gonna be message so and at the end we have a button so I just come here and say button and that gonna hold our custom CSS class I just say Joey BTN and inside it's in your HTML just gonna pass a submit submit I noticed that I put learn more here no I didn't so let's see how is it looking I'm gonna go here and it's looking like this we need to give it a little gap but before doing that uh, I'm gonna create our other column here so beneath this column um, what I'm gonna do is to uh, create our column so I just say column and a large size is just gonna take uh, six columns of our web page and put uh, text to the light and a color gonna be white color something similar to white color and it is not exactly white color so after this I'm gonna put a p tag here and generate some low rim here and after this low rim I'm gonna put a p tag here and say email and I'm gonna put some dummy email here for example joy learn at gmail dot com and I'm gonna duplicate this out one more time and here I'm gonna put a phone number here I don't know which 
country phone number is that and I'm just gonna change it to phone yes so and do I have anything else no I don't so let's see yes it's looking like this so we need a little uh, CSS here so I'm gonna go inside our custom CSS file and here I'm gonna select the form and from the form inside the form select all the inputs elements and also the text area so I'm gonna put a comma here and select the text area and here what I'm gonna do is to give it a margin of one rim from all the sides and I'm gonna uh, set its background to transparent even though it didn't work for me so I didn't set its background to transparent because it just didn't work and I left it like that and you will see that it's looking like this do I have do I need anything else let me check here it just it is it, 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 this one is a little smaller but I like it I'm not gonna touch it out even do if you want if you guys want you I will change it but here we do not have the contact task it just there it, it is but um, its color is to black color so I just come here and set that class to text to light now it just gets was able so after this section our last section is the footer section so beneath all these codes after even oh we put everything inside the header section coming so here I'm gonna, I'm gonna say footer section start and footer section end. even though we don't have to put this here and here we're gonna create our footer so I just say footer and I say this footer what I'm gonna do is to create I'm, I'm gonna give it uh, p tag only which its class gonna be text to the center which it's put it at the center of our web page and nothing else and here I'm gonna put copy uh, right and with a copyright logo I don't know if it's symbol actually so you have to type f percent copy and add in a semicolon and the year which is 2021 yes that's all so we don't need anything else but we have to style it using our custom CSS file a little so just come inside our CSS style.css file and select the footer and I'm gonna give it a background of black so I just say background and it's black color and then I'm gonna give it a padding of two rim from all the sides and the color gonna be white because we set the background to the black color so come on baby mm -hmm. And if I take a look, it didn't change to white color. So we have to put the important. No, we don't have to. Did I select? So actually, sorry. This is a footer tag, not a footer class. So now it is looking exactly like this one. But the only thing is that the left here is that when we move our cursor on, we want it just select it directly I mean like this and to, to do it um, we have to uh, use JavaScript here so to use JavaScript I'm gonna go inside our code editor and inside the code ed editor I'm gonna create our script.js file so I just say script.js and we need to make sure that our script is connected with our HTML so I just say script and it's src gonna refer to script.js Yes, now I'm gonna go inside the script.js and access, let me, my computer hang now. So guys, there was a problem that I didn't know and here I'm recording the video, uh, I, I paused the video and fi fixed that problem. So I just came here and said, I I've already created a script that, uh, I mean, a script a file here and inside the index.html we need to make sure that our uh, script file is connected with our html so i just say a script uh, put the script.js here so it is fine here and after that we're gonna go inside the script and i'm gonna create a variable here call it sections uh, so inside this i'm gonna uh, access uh, select all the sections so i just say query select or uh, all and select the sections here and I'm gonna create another variable here call it navbar links uh, we want to access all the navbar so here I just say document 
dot query selector all and we're gonna select the nav bar nav links actually nav link it is not plural then i'm gonna add an even listener to the scroll event so i just come here and say add even listener and it's gonna listen to a scroll event so I say scroll and after that we have to call a callback function here which is another old function and I say this I'm gonna loop through over all the sections I just say for um, sorry mm, don't put that here I just say for uh, each and it just gives us access to each and which will uh, what I called section so I just say section and uh, what I'm gonna do is to uh, put uh, brackets here because I'm gonna access the section and also uh, the index so after that I'm gonna use an arrow function here and uh, here I'm gonna write an if statement and here we say window dot um, dot page y offset and if it's equal or uh, bigger or equal to the section offset offset mm, uh, offset top yes and uh, uh, minus a two a three uh, from 300 because we don't want when the section exactly reached to here we want the even tracker before that we want to occur so inside this what I'm gonna do is um to create uh, to access each individual navbar links so i say navbar links and also look through over over all of these two so it gives us access to the navbar link not links and i have to capitalize this one and then what i'm gonna do is uh to put an uh, another arrow function here so and inside this i'm gonna access the navbar link and remove a class from it so I just say class list dot remove and I say this I'm gonna put the change class and then create this change class I'm gonna do it in a CSS file so again I'm gonna access the nav for links here with the index of i and I'm gonna add a class to it which is the change here so I then create this change so I'm gonna go inside the style.css file and create this change here and inside this, we're gonna give it that text uh, decoration of um, underline. So I just say underline. Then it's color gonna be white. It's not gonna work. You have to put the important keywords. So I just say important. And after that, I'm gonna give it a font width of bold, uh, not bolder. So now, if I keep on scrolling, you'll see that it just uh, selected. And if we reach to the about section, it just uh, selected out for us and each of them are fine and now even before uh, without uh, scrolling if I click on uh, portfolio it just takes us to the portfolio section if I click on team it just takes us to here if I click on about home all of these are gonna work for us and the only thing left here is to uh, put animation for this so to do it I'm gonna create another a CSS file here so I just say um, I'm gonna call it as animation and uh, CSS and we need to make sure that our CSS is connected with our uh, HTML so here after this I'm gonna put a link and say animation CSS and inside this animation CSS what I'm gonna do is not this one save this out and here uh, I'm gonna select the about section and uh, I'm gonna set its opacity to opacity to zero when we move our cursor on and I'm gonna give it a translation so I say translation and it's gonna target the opacity opacity and it's just gonna take one second to occur then I'm gonna select the hero section so I just say hero and I'm gonna select the container and from this I'm gonna give it a little animation so I just say animation and it's animation actually animation name and its animation name is hero animation animation and we didn't create this hero animation yet so I'm just gonna say animation duration and uh, animation duration gonna takes two seconds so 
Now uh, we have to create this uh, animation. So to do it, I'm going to use keyframes. So I just say keyframes, keyframes. Oh, oh. And inside this, I'm going to give uh, give the class name of, I mean, the name of hero animation, paste it down here. And inside this, I'm going to, I'm going to write it's from to top. So I just say uh, from, and it's from, uh, going to be from uh, transform, translate, not translation, transform, transform, uh, from transform, translate, y of, x of actually, uh, minus a hundred percentage, uh, to, to uh, transform, translate, x of zero percentage, because uh, first time, or when we refresh just our web page, we want it to be at the right side, I mean, at the, at the left side, and it's a le from the x direction, you're gonna have the space of 100 percentage, and when the animation occur it, from that, that position, which is uh, some, uh, somewhere like here, it just gets at the center of our web page. So I'm gonna set it to zero percentage here. Now, uh, we don't have to do anything, and I'm gonna refresh our website, and you will see that this can nicely from the left side of our website. Yes, it's looking awesome. And after that, when we move our cursor on, we want to, when we reach to about section, uh, because I said the about section opposite to zero, it's not visible, but I'm gonna fix it using uh, JavaScript. So inside the JavaScript, I'm gonna come and write the condition that if it's reached to about section, and the opacity should be one, and the things are gonna get visible. So uh, inside the section that I have access to each individual section um, after the window is scroll and get its position uh, and understand where our section is. So I'm gonna write another condition here and say, if the section and class name, uh, class, uh, if it's class name, yes. So I just say class name includes, includes is a method that uh, check for uh, being if some um, if something is included in an address string, so we want to search for about if the about exists in the section. What I'm gonna do is to put a bracket. I mean curly brackets here, and we want to select the section and access its style property and set its opacity to one. So I just say one. Now if we move our cursor on. It just gets visible like this, and because we gather the translation of uh, one second here, here it just nicely occurs. So if I move here, uh, and also I should mention it just occur one times at our web page, which is something that I feel like is awesome. So now uh, I move my cursor on. You see that nothing is now visible, but whenever we reach to about section, it just nicely gets visible. And after that, uh, these are camp from the bottom to the top. Uh, I, I, do, I did it using JavaScript, so I'm gonna go inside the main project and I'm gonna show you here. These things come here and I move my cursor on and you will notice that this one and also this one come from the top, so, uh, from the bottom. So to do it, I just come inside the script attack here. And uh, Inside the script tag, um, we say, um, you know, guys, I got tired and you guys can do it by yourself. Just uh, select the section and after the section uh, that gets fine, uh, add an animation to about, I mean, the P tag. So here, select the P tag from about section and set it's uh, from the top, I mean, from the bottom or a translate Y of. Uh, a higher number or something like a thousand and a minus thousand because we want you want it to come from the bottom to the top and after you, you've said that uh, you can uh, write to it's two and put it to zero and after that add another class and access uh, from about section access its p tag and also h1 then adds animation and Thank you guys. I'm really sorry that I didn't do that. Uh, time now is 1.55 and I'm really tired. I'm sorry guys. Take care of yourself and bye.